Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. So who's got a question? Do you want to we'll start with that one back there? Do you want to yell it out? or What did I just play? Um, 
It was an improvisation. No, no, it wasn't. It was the, uh, it was all of these solo parts of the second movement sort of strung together, which I've been playing since the concerto when I'm not playing with an orchestra. I, I kind of play some of those together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she, she was asking, um, do I find there to be um, similarities between writing, uh, writing a thing like a concerto and a, and a, and a creating a film? Yeah. And, um, you know, a long form project is different than um, any, anything short. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And even in the, um, you know, the part where I was struggling with Edgar giving me, you know, his, his input while I was all the way down my track, even though I asked for it, the exact same thing happened with the film. And then I played it for people and they said, oh, well, you should definitely not use that part or that part's no good or this part doesn't work. And that was sort of, I think that's kind of one of the things I enjoy about the film is, you know, everybody has to have an opinion uh, and I want to hear them all. And the ones that resonate with me are the ones that I, uh, I act on, because in the end, I'm the guy who's, who made the music and made the film, so I get the last cut. But I want to hear what people think. It helps me. It, it helps me either to be sure about that I disagree with them or, or occasionally to catch things that I missed. So Edgar's point that um, playing it for everybody was kind of jive because I already knew the, what I wanted and what I didn't um, is, is only partly true. That it's, it's partly true that there's a lot of reinforcement that, that you get when people criticize either of what you weren't, sh you were already not sure something worked. You hear it from four or five people, you go, well, they're right, I gotta change that. But I never changed the ending, so that was just stubbornness, I guess. Are you sh rubbing your head or do you have a question? Rubbing your head. Who's got, yeah, how about back there? Why would I do such a thing? Yeah. Um, well, you know, the, the movie I got to make before this was uh, called Throw Down Your Heart, and it, it was a trip to Africa. Thank you, thank you. And um, that was um, the first film I was really involved in, uh, and my brother was the director, Sasha Palladino, and so I felt very safe, and I, I learned a lot in doing it with him, and he would tell me, you look like an idiot, you're not listening to people, shut up, you know. Or, um, and he wasn't ashamed to uh, uh, make me look bad if it was better for the film. And so I learned a lot from that. And so after this whole thing about um, you know, how hard it was to go to Africa you know, for, for five or six weeks with, with a crew and you know, be worried about everybody's lives and losing the equipment and maybe getting back without the tapes after all this money. I, and, and here I am making this, this other sort of journey, the, making this concerto. I thought, why don't I just start rolling film? It won't cost anything. I've got a camera. I'll just turn it on when I'm writing. And, um, and, then, and I mentioned it to Sasha and he said, well, why don't we just have a, a film crew there for a couple of the important parts, like uh, you know, maybe a good interview before you start, or um, when you first meet the musicians, or the first run through. And so it was just a loose thing like that. We were just sort of shooting this and that, although occasionally we'd shell out some money for a real shoot when something was really going on. And I thought it might be interesting to see somebody uh, actually composing, like what does it look like when you're really coming up with the good stuff? And I discovered it was very boring. It didn't look anything different than coming up with garbage. It looked exactly the same. It was just a guy sitting in front of a stationary camera going, hmm, like, like, hmm, no, I like that, hmm, I don't like that. So the, the movie changed as, we, uh, as I started to edit. I discovered that all of these hours of, of you know, sitting in front of the thing, hoping for creative you know, magic to strike, um, lightning to strike, really, that wasn't the movie. But um, any, anyway, the answer is, it just sort of evolved, and at a certain point I was in too deep, and then Sasha got a job and had to pull out, like, a, like less than half, halfway through, and suddenly the whole thing got left sort of in my lap to either you know, just be some, a, a pile of tapes that nobody ever did anything, or something I would finish, and I was the only logical person to finish it since I knew what it was all about. So suddenly I became the, the, the director after Sasha got too busy to be involved. So that's, it, it's kind of like a vanity film. You know, it's kind of like a, what do you call that? Um, is that what you call it, a vanity film? Yeah, yeah, and except it, I, it wasn't really intentional. It just sort of occurred, uh, starting out with very, very low expectations. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you about the Africa documentary because I watched it a, a long time ago and uh, when it came out. And what I really realized after watching that was just how great of a listener you are when you play with other people. And that documentary for me was so much more about the musicians you were playing with than you. It didn't feel in vain at all. Right. Uh, 
But you know, when you choose to write a concerto, you're choosing to to showcase yourself, and I yeah. kind of wonder this is how you wrestled with that because I've always viewed you as somebody who's and and even in the film, you're 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 talking with all of the principal players, right? Because you want to you know be able to speak to them. Yeah. Well, I figured I, that maybe there was also a point that um, since I wasn't an orchestra guy, there were things that were new to me that might be new to the people that listen to me. Because there's, I have a certain certain amount of people that like what I do, and then I kind of, kind of become like a taste maker for certain people. Oh well, if they liked it, maybe I might like it too. You think of all of these people that come see the Flectones, and very few of them go to an orchestra show. And so I thought they don't know any better than I do what a principal player really is. I always knew there was a principal player, but what was his job? Why why would you? Did, did, did this guy have the same experience I had falling in love with the banjo when I heard Earl Scruggs on the contrabassoon? What was, how did he, why is he playing that instrument? And so then it became about discovery. But um, yeah, it's kind of embarrassing to be the guy on camera. But I got used to it on the Africa thing. And then I just, again, it just seemed like it might be interesting. And then here it is. So. <laughs> 